Hey what's well, guys, it's Kasha here back with another video and today we are actually going to be doing something very interesting, something different from my casual content. Today we're going to be comparing how a Japanese TV show relates to real life aerodynamics using a paper airplane. So I'm going to go ahead and play the clip for you guys right now. <laughs> でも、ママが。ママじゃなくて。大丈夫、大丈夫。まずは。もう髪の強さに合わせて。無駄なところはもうこれ切っちゃっていいから。あ。大丈夫だよ。もう後ろなくなったろ。じゃこの羽のところに
All right, guys, so I'm at my workplace right now, and the great thing about my workplace is that it's got this huge room with a lot of space, in which that is what we're gonna need to test our aerodynamics. So I got this uh, Walmart 97 cent notebook, <laughs> and uh, yeah, we're gonna make a paper airplane out of this. First, we're just gonna test out the basic airplane and uh, see what happens with that. All right, folks, uh, I know you can barely see me, but we got our first edition of a paper airplane here. And uh, you know, not, not a lot of aerodynamics is going on here. Pretty basic, pretty long, pretty paper. <laughs> so uh, yeah, we're gonna test this one out and uh, see what happens with it. All right, here we go. So with thrust, it should be able to just... All right, well, that just went off screen. All right, we're gonna try this one more time. So with thrust, I should just be able to throw that. And it's going back. I believe we seem to have a problem here. As I'm throwing this, it's not stabilizing in flight. What if I, what if I just try to pitch the wings up a little bit to add something called a dihedral angle? Okay, well, it, I mean, it flies, but it's not stable. What I notice while we're throwing this paper airplane here is that it's, it's going forward, but it's not, it, but when it stalls, right, when it's going in its upward angle, it just kind of doesn't stay down. So we need to keep it stable by adding some forward force or putting it nose down a little bit. Because I believe right now, since the paper airplane is so long and the wings aren't are, are way too long, we need to cut off some of this back part here. And the reason why we're doing this is because we want to bring the CG more to the middle, right? We want to keep it stable in flight because right now our CG is probably somewhere more of around here. This is our updated paper airplane here. And I've cut it, the back of the plane is no longer existent. Right, so we're gonna, we're gonna keep that dihedral angle in. I'm gonna be honest, I feel like there's a little bit too much on the bottom side here, but with the dihedral angle, it should be able to fly. And because with the back side being cut off, now our center of gravity is more centered, like around right here. So we'll test it out, see what happens. So with a little bit of thrust, well, okay, that's not working. Okay, so it's quick. All right, so clearly we have a problem. Our main problem is that it's turning a lot actually, which is kind of concerning. I don't know why, hold on. Maybe because I have a little bit too much thrust in my hands. Okay, so since that it's going down, maybe we should start adding in those little by tips going up. In the version of Shinkai, he's actually put the wingtips downwards, but in our case, we can't do that. The reason why is because if we bring these wingtips downward, the downwards wingtips will bring the escaping air. It'll push the escaping air downwards like this, right? So when it brings it down this way, it's actually going to push the aircraft upwards, making the aircraft go in a nose down attitude. If we do the opposite way, and the air, air escaping is going up this way, it'll bring it like this. So let's go ahead and test our theory, see what happens. No, I've just, I've just, okay. All right, well, okay, now I put too much downforce onto it. Trying with our best shots, let's see how these two compare. This really long but slim one, and this really big but very short one right here, so let's, let's compare these. Starting from all the way back here, let's see if I can even get a good throw. I'll count it as soon as I get a good throw in. Okay, I mean, I, I'll call that good. I'll call that good for now. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's the best throw I'm gonna get. Like, I think this is my best bet to go with this, this long one right here. I mean, of course there's better planes right here, like obviously out there, but like, I'm just trying to use something that's like from a TV show. And I mean, who knows? It might be aerodynamically wrong. So that's why we experiment. That's why we experiment. So pretty much we are here at campus now. Apparently we're gonna be throwing our paper airplane from all the way over here. That, that's apparently what it's supposed to be. I think uh, if I have to be honest, Shinkai's design completely sucks. We're gonna have to create something new. And by the way, those A, B, and Cs, if you land in one of those, that's your grade. You can try harder for another one, but it is what it is. So yeah, let's see what happens. So by the way guys, the Shinkai plane that we've created has, is, is aerodynamically wrong. I mean, it, it flies, but it doesn't fly for distance. It doesn't just fly long at all, right? It's not accurate, like, it, it sucks. And plus, you would need a tailwind or like a, or a headwind for that. 
kind of case there. For this plane right here, this is something that my, that my fellow student kind of taught me about. So pretty much, with all the wings kind of tucked in like this, it's more aerodynamic. It generates more drag and more lift, making the airplane more stable. Next up, we have these kind of paper clips here added as weight. When you're flying these planes without the weight there, essentially all it's doing is that it's lifting, but it's not going down. It's not staying in a nose down attitude. So to help the nose down attitude, we've actually got negative dihedral angle right there. The negative dihedral angle will basically form the wings to kind of push down like this. And we've got the weight moving the center of gravity forward. So now our center of gravity is like this, making the aircraft more stable. All right, All let's, see it. let's see it, dog, come on. Touchy McFeely, Sergeant Maz, best star pilot in the galaxy. Mm. <laughs> when you say something like that, I'm, just... <laughs> <laughs> I'm mic'd up, count number two. Oh, oh, oh right. that made it just before. All right, here comes my fail safe. You have a fail safe design. Touchy McFeely number two. Yes! Oh, All right, well, hey, if it's aerodynamic. The most aerodynamic shape is a sphere. That is correct. If I learn one thing from this class. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Alex is on the line. GoPro, start recording. All right. All of America is watching him right now. No, no, okay. Well, boys, all right, this is going to fail. He's lining it up. All right. Well, that was a low effort throw. I got how many throws? I get three? Low yeah. effort. But I know he what has more in the tank. I just need to secure the grade. If I can, if I can secure a grade, then I'm good. Alex, we believe in you. That one I was unlucky. Better. I need better. I know. Hold on, but can I use the fail safe? A sphere. I mean, I, I got one now. <laughs> I got one now. <laughs> Excellent throw. Excellent throw. Absolute poetry in motion. <laughs> Go. I got a spear. <laughs> hey, it's a spear. Do you know good. anything about aerodynamics? <laughs> oh, Caleb, that's my boy right there. That's my boy. Oh, that's an A right there. Caleb, a man that needs no introduction. Hell yeah. Don't need Here we go. Here we go. What? Keep going! Oh my god, hold on. It's an aircraft. Yes! That's where I got before. Excellent B grade. Yeah! Take it, take it, take it. Take it. It's a B. It's a B. You know, I'm gonna I'm gonna try one more throw with for, just for the memes. Just for the memes. This, this isn't gonna make it. There's no way. If this does. I think you can. Hey, you get that's nothing to be ashamed about right there. <laughs> but he already threw his. I got in. I, I got. Yeah, I did, you already I, got an A. I've never gone it that far. Oh. I had to use the fail safe spear to get an A. But well. All right, guys. So that's pretty much going to be the video for today. Yeah, we learned that aerodynamics can do a thing. Paper airplanes are, can fly with lift, with the perfect shape, form, uh, all the all those basic stuff. This is great. This is a great plane here. But the spear. One thing you always got to remember about aerodynamics is that the spear is the best way for flight. Anyways, if you guys did like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe, and it's your boy Captain Cashew out with another video.